what is going on Mike here and we are back with another video one of the greatest things about Android is that it gives you the ability to change the way it looks and the most common way that people do this is by using an Android launcher now there is a wide selection of launchers available on the Play Store but for this particular video we'll take a brief look at the Microsoft launcher for Android Personally, I think that the Microsoft Launcher is an interesting concept because as a lot of people know, Microsoft used to compete with Google in the smartphone market with their Windows Phone brand. Sadly though, Windows Phone has met its end, but at least we still have Microsoft apps and services available on the Play Store. So typically, I use Nova as my launcher of choice, but after reminiscing about my Windows Phone days, I decided to try out the Microsoft Launcher and see if it's any good. And it definitely is. So for this video, let's talk about three basic aspects of the launcher. I installed Microsoft Launcher on my Nokia 6 2018 with 4 gigs of RAM running Android 8.1 Oreo. First things first, let's talk about appearance and customization. In my opinion, one of the things that makes a great Android launcher is the level and degree of customization that it offers the user. And as far as customizability goes, the Microsoft Launcher gets a lot of things right. The app gives you options to modify nearly every aspect of the launcher's appearance including stuff like the home screen, app dock, app drawer, and notification badges. It's also compatible with third-party icon packs and even lets you modify gesture controls. As with most launchers these days, the Microsoft Launcher also gives you the ability to change your wallpapers. You can use either the built-in wallpapers or those from your device storage or use the ones offered with the built-in Bing wallpaper feature. Additionally, it also comes with the option to apply native themes and color accents which add a bit of variety to how your setup looks. The color accent function reminds me a lot of the same functionality we saw in Windows 8, Windows 10, and even Windows Phone. Aside from customization, the Microsoft Launcher also comes with a nice set of additional features. I think one of the best features is the built-in feed which you can access on your home screen. You can customize this feed with different widget cards and it even automatically lists your recent and frequent app activity for added convenience. Personally, I find this somewhat similar to the Fastlane function found on the Nokia X platform from 2014. Aside from the feed, you also get this additional dock function which works a bit like the control center found on iOS. It contains shortcuts which toggle your Wi-Fi, flashlight, data and more. It also lets you add additional apps for quick accessibility. Now with this being a Microsoft product, you can pretty much expect the launcher to link with your Microsoft account and apps. I do like that it also comes with Cortana search function, so basically you now have more voice assistant options on your phone, and a somewhat more streamlined Microsoft experience thanks to the added Bing search feature. Let's head on to the last part of this video and talk about performance. Now while I am a big fan of what Microsoft has done here, the launcher of course isn't 100% perfect. In my initial setup of the app, I got a few stutters here and there, and while this isn't a big issue for me, it might be a deal breaker for other users out there. Fortunately though, I haven't had any problems since. For the most part, the launcher operates smoothly, animations and transitions are fluid and look pretty slick, adding to the overall appeal. The app is also battery friendly, and from day one it hasn't really taken a toll on battery life, with only a minimal percentage of battery use on a daily basis. Now for an average user like yours truly, this isn't really a big issue. In closing, I've been pretty satisfied during the short time that I've used Microsoft Launcher and it's even proved to be a worthy alternative to Nova Launcher as my go-to launcher of choice. The built-in features along with the addition of Cortana makes for a great user experience, so if you're after a more Microsoft focused functionality on your Android phone, this launcher is definitely worth a try. If you want more tech related articles, check out detectures.com for more features and gadgets and accessories. Once again, thanks for watching.